thank you for clicking on this video because you will never regret it if you just stop by to watch this video congratulations because you have found yourself one video that will change your forest experience one video that will change your forest career and one video that will assist you to make a profit beyond your own imagination so this video is a video that will help you to skype when i mean skype i mean that will help you to take profit without any further losses if you lose your trade using this strategy then know it very well that your problem is not strategy that your problem is that you need more knowledge before you start applying your strategy all right let's step in as i will add up my indicators right away the first indicator i am using is moving average and the moving average i am using is 14 exponential i have to change this color let me use blue and i added this is 14 exponential then i have to add another moving average i have to add this time 50. now this time i will not be using the blue uh this time i think i should be using let me see something that can be noticeable let me see let me use red all right these are the two lines on the screen now can you see it can you see the two lines relax i will explain how it works all right i'll be adding another thing here i'll be adding another thing as my window one remember that this strategy can work on your smartphone this strategy can work on your smartphone this is sarcastic as later then i'll be adding my k period as one add my t period one i'll be adding my slowing as one so that it will not be that harsh then i will be adding my color the red here is background color the light sea green is background color are you getting that then my levels this is where you should pay attention then the levels i'll be adding now is 90 let me be dropping it first 90 all right this is 90 this is 80 this one is uh 20 this one is 20 this one is 10 and this one is 50 so this is how this thing is then i have to Add up a little thing so that I can be able to see it in my background. So I can use this uh, fire brink. Are you seeing it below here? Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? All right. So and I'll be adding another thing on the moving on the indicator window one. All right. I'll be adding another thing on the indicator window one which is my moving average. So this time I'll be adding the 51st. Are you seeing it? I'll be adding the 51st. Then I'll be adding another one on the same indicator window one. This time is 14. The 14, then I can change it to be blue. Then I close. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that now? Are you seeing that? Yes, yeah, so this is how. All right, so I hope you can see it, but I think I have to add up the, I have to add up the line here. I have to add up the line, so I have to add the, the line on the distance, so that on the stochastic, so that you can be able to see it clearly, so. I think I should add up so that you will see the crossing. Yes, I hope you can see it clearly now. I hope you can see it clearly. All right, I hope you can see it now. I hope you can see it. 
All right, now, like I told you earlier, if your eyes can see this, then be ready to make profit in the forest world. I'm not exaggerating words. I am telling you the truth of what I know. This strategy can work for boom and crash, 500 and 1,300. Then you can also work for volatility, 75, volatility, 25. Volatility technical. You can also work on jump index and also it can also work on step index. All right. So this is how it is going to be now. Let me show you how powerful this strategy can be and what you should be looking at for and what you will be doing on the market for you to be Skyping. What you will be seeing for you to do your Skyping. Once you see it, get ready to do your skyping all right let me show you something let me show you something you know um from this place now the levels is reducing but i have to be adding here remember that here now we'll have 10. this place will have 10. this place will have 50. We'll have 50 and here we'll have 90 so we'll have 90 we'll have 90 this is the complete line are you getting it this is the complete line this is the complete line so when are you going to be placing your trade using this very strategy Number one, as the market touch this place and cross down to this very place, this line is 90, here is 80. So for, for you to cast spike, as the market, as the blue and the red line touch this very line and cross over to this very green line here and start entering between the 50 here, start entering between the 50 here, and the 80. If you see such a thing, it's an opportunity for you to take, I mean, it's an opportunity for you to catch your spike. And it will take you from here. And from here now, you'll notice that the market will cross over between the blue line and the black line. Two of them will cross over. And this is how the spike is going to happen from that place down to this place. And before it will touch here now, it will first meet to this place. And as it, as it touches to this place, it's not ranging for Skyping, which is it's not ranging for you to start buying. All right, let me answer this question from somebody. He asks a very simple and uh, intelligent question. Let me answer the question. <clears throat> let me answer the question. He said, Question number one, I notice that it tells different direction of the market on the one minute time frame. It, say, it, stay, it says oversell and the line touched the 10 and ready to go uptrend. But on, on one hour time frame, it overbuy, uh, which is uh, overbought and then uh, touches the 90 and ready for uptrend then downtrend now my question is what time frame is the perfect is the best time frame out of for when using your strategy i spent all night practicing but i still haven't gotten it right thank you this is what the person said it i i blanked his name so that it will not so that frosters will not use it against him tomorrow all right thank you all right, thank you, Mr. Man. I I respect that question and I want to answer the question straight forward. And for every one of you that have similar question, listen to me. This is one hour time frame. And when we talk about one hour time frame, you have to consider one thing when placing trade. Listen to me. Like the signal I'm giving to you now, 
Here is the red. This red has touched the 90 and is trying to start stepping down like this. Now here is 80, which is this line. It has started stepping down like this. I don't know why the line is disappearing. I don't know why the line is disappearing. So I have to fix it back again so that we'll be able to get this thing correct because I don't want anybody to miss out in this 90, 50, 10. I don't want anybody to miss out in this. Please bear with me. I don't know what is going on, but we don't have to give up now. All right. Uh, let me add up the line again. Please let me use different thing. This is what I'm showing you now. Now look at this. Each time the market touches this place, this is one hour time frame. And here is where you should see the confirmation. Now look at, if the market touched on 90 levels in your one hour time frame, but in your lower time frame, it have not touched the lower time frame. It, 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 it have not shown the same thing. So the right time frame, for you to use is no longer what matters here. But what matters here is the movement of the market in your higher time frame. And you know, for you to ask this question, which means you have knowledge of what forest trading is all about. Now, to answer each trade here, the candle that is making the move here is bullish. And it's trying to go up, but this is the only challenge it's having here. And here is also the support zone. This candle can also spike and continue going down like what happened here. From here now, you think that the market is going up, but not knowing that it will step down to this place to take a little range in here to decide whether to continue going up or to, I mean, either to change the direction to go up, which here is the breakout point yeah it's also a breakout point so one thing you should know about this is this one thing you should know about this very thing is this is very simple for you to understand one that the market touched that the market touched on higher time frame here now that the market touched on the higher time frame here but have not touched on the lower time frame is not a big deal the time frame for you to use is the time frame that will make the candle go to the direction where you will find your entry point. I repeat, in your lower time frame, the market can touch here, but in your higher time frame, it's somewhere here. So what this thing is trying to show you is that in your lower time frame, there is an opportunity for you to sell and um, for you to buy while in your higher time frame there is no single opportunity for you to buy so what you need to do is is that you will stay clear from the market completely or or as this market is stepping into this place let me show you something when this thing you are seeing here now is going on in your lower time frame You'll be seeing something like this as this thing goes up from here you will see skyping like this as it started spiking you will see something like this it will go up it will go up it will go up it will go up and it will be doing like this that is how the market will be in our lower time frame because as this thing happened here now it's more of spike and a kind of retracement. Remember that there is something I want you to know though, though this is not the class, but I want you to know this, that this single thing you are seeing here now, as you are watching this very thing here, in your one minute time frame, it have candles. Remember that the last candle that just closed, the market will not come and clear it off. So if you are trading this very strategy now, as this thing is trying to retrace like this and start going up like this, so one thing you should have in mind is this, that 
a candle that open on your one hour time frame or your higher time frame is an opportunity for you to do the strategy which is what i am telling you now so as this thing is going up in this direction like this now as this thing is on a bullish movement now in your in your in your one minute time frame this thing have crawl storage and it will be on a very high trend like this so when this thing will start pulling down here now then this thing must have touched this place and start going down like this are you get what i'm saying so that is why your best time frame for this very strategy is the best candle that you notice that you want to trend get that again the best candle you want to the best time frame for you is the best candle because there is nothing like time frame without there is nothing like time frame without candlestick movement it is the candles you are seeing here now that is making up the time frame in your either higher or lower so that is why you can count one two three now in one hour time frame but when you go to five hours time frame, it will, it will just be only one candle are you seeing it so if you enter into this it's a, it's a little bit deep there, a little bit deep but not that deep you will notice that the time frame it does not really matter what matters most here now is what do you know about this candle and what are you going to make use of this candle in your lower time frame once you get this as this candle is pulling down nobody will inform you that this candle is going to be a spike because we are dealing on crash and you get what i'm saying so for you to use this candle this very strategy is simple because i'm going to back this it's very very simple as the market touched this place and cross over to the line like this don't trade when it is in between the line don't trade because it may frustrate you as it steps in like that it's an opportunity for you to catch and do your skyping now look at what happened here now look at what happened i circled this place here this this market will help you to fish out four signals as the thing is happening inside this place you will not trade until it breaks out and as it breaks out this is where it is going but this here is when you notice that the market has started taking a step are you getting that so don't be deceived don't force yourself into the market but if i am to encourage you to choose a best time frame then i will ask you to look out for a time frame from one hour time frame why because any move on a one hour time frame will be more convenient and you trade more comfortable than your small small candles in one minute time frame so my advice if you can have the patient trade with one hour time frame trade with one hour time frame though that sometimes the candle from four hours and a day trend can also frustrate one hour time frame but because when the market is spiking on four hours time frame it's going to frustrate the uptrend in one hour time frame so let me back this and show you so that you will see how simple this can be if you are using a small loss size if you are using a small loss size uh small account if you are using a small account there is one simple thing you can do trade with very low account please don't trade with very low loss size don't rush into the market with high loss size because you want to make huge profits at the process of making huge profits you may be flushed out of the market all right so look at this now look at this if the market goes like this if the market if see if everything happened like this don't rush but immediately it crosses to this place it will confirm it from the time frame take at least take these candles take, you can take at least 10 candles so if you have not been able to take one successful candle in your life please take this strategy serious it's going to work for you i mean to work for you you too can do it you too can do it watch watch what i'm showing you are you seeing it are you seeing it it will help you to for some of you who don't know how to practice patience 
look at it so if you can patient enough to watch this scene be careful this one crossed or this one have not crossed so wait until you see the total crossing which happened here and immediately it happened here it's confirming from here look at where it landed so just see it this way see it this way so as the market step into this place stay clear as the market step into that place stay clear look at it are you get what i'm saying now let me show you one more example and you can see this up to five times in a day uh -huh. you can see this up to five times in a day now look at this place this one entered here and cross here as it cross here it confirmed it from this place look at where it is so if you see something like this then know it that it have not stepped into the oversold zone it's not here come on now guys you can do this you can do i mean you can do this help yourself help yourself look at it it crossed here and this one crossed here and this one finally crossed here it crossed here forget about this spike it still take you to this place you are still on money so uh, this the second question somebody asked me is when should i take my tp one as you step into this place depending on the lot size you are using depending on the lot size you are um, depending on the capital and your lot size you are using if the market crosses over to this place target your first tp on 50 levels then the final tp is on the 80 levels don't allow it to get to 90 because uh, one spike can put the market down to 50. So don't wait until it get to 90. So as it's approaching 80 level, sometimes the market may not get to 80 before pulling back. Like what happened here now? It didn't get to 90 before pulling uh, 80 before pulling. So the best place to for you to do is as it touched 90, most especially uh, the red. As the red touches 50, close your trade. By so doing, you have taken at least 15 candles, which is um, a successful entry point and a closing point all right let me still show you more so that you will see how possible this strategy can be you too can do it you look at it it crosses here that is a spike here that's true but finally had it be that you allowed it to cross completely you wouldn't have seen the spike so this is where the market crossed completely the whole red crossed in the, um, the 20 levels and from here it took you down to this place so don't go and blow your account but if all those things are still confusing to you then know it that your problem is not strategy know it you need a mentor look at this and i've said this in my last video which is this one is the this one is the pc version of this thing so like i said before if you are coming come in this january I'll be giving you a discount in my mentorship class, all right? I'll be giving you a discount to help some people pick up in this new year, all right? So this is how simple it can be. Don't trade when it has not crossed, but as long as it has crossed, enter and make your profit. Now, for you not to make kind of mistake, use the lowest loss size and um, use the lowest uh, zoom level. So that you will see it completely use the lower zoom level take at least 10 to 15 candles and you're out of the market look at it look at it here something like this is okay for you to enjoy all right so it is for pros that can trade here it is for pros that can trade the crossing and mind you every crossing must give you something to enjoy but not everyone can trade that so it's not advisable I am not advising you to trade that. So for safety, trade here. Look at it. If it cross below the uh, window one and cross on the main chart, pros can do it and enjoy their trade. But don't do that. It will not help you. Like currently now, the market is ranging for those who know the market. So my name is GDFX and I wish to see every one of you succeed and if you are still searching for mentorship please we are here to assist you we are ready to give out what we have i have many in my place i have those who are in class one those who are in class two you know intermediate class we have those who are in professional class so you can choose depending on where you start 
Stop wasting your money. Stop making brokers rich. This strategy will make you rich. And some of you are making a kind of mistake. You want to, you want to deposit your money on forex trading. You raise it to use the money you raise there to pay for mentorship. Why you are using the two hundred dollars to raise more money? You blow it off. Why you are blowing it off? You are looking for another money. Why you can beg somebody to assist you with two hundred dollars? After it. You can start a journey with $50 or $100 and recover this. But you will lose this without blaming anybody. Or sometimes you pay somebody $500 and expect that person to die training you. <laughs> Sorry about that, okay? So but once you pay this to someone, the person will help you. And with this, you can come back. Or with this, you can come back. So don't give broker this when you don't have the right knowledge. And sometimes people are parading themselves saying that they are GDFX. They, I am not the person that is calling you. I've never called anybody to tell that person I want to mentor you. I've never done that before. I've never chat people privately and tell them that I want to mentor you. So, and I've never sent account number to anyone without having a private discussion with the person. And if the account number, if <laughs> let me not go that place. So don't 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 just don't just for their victim. My can my phone number is on that group on the description. So chat me up if seriously you need mentorship on this. Forest is really sweet though, if you have the right knowledge. GDFS, I'm signing out. Thank you.